Hello, this is Andrew with Missing Remote. This is an FYI that Ubiquity released the Unify OS for Dream Machines version 1.12.22. This is a general release for everyone. They've been ha they've had the 1.12.x uh, channel going in the beta for quite a while, and I I've actually been running it because of some stability issues that I've been seeing with the containerization around Unify Network running on the UDM. I think it is specific to the UDM. I don't think that it's a problem with network because I have a di uh, standalone network installation going and it's totally fine. It doesn't have these issues. That's a long way of saying that I found the 1.12 release to be relatively stable, definitely better than the previous version, the 1.11. There are a lot of improvements in here and a lot of bug fixes. I'm gonna point out a few of them that are kind of interesting. Before I get into the for more specific stuff, just want to say that this comes with Unify Network 7.1.66 in classic Unify or in classic Ubiquity. They, they've hidden the value of what that means in that they don't do, they don't roll up the release notes for these, uh, the versions. So 7.1.61 was a massive update. I'm not going to go through all of it, but basically you got a lot of functionality. I've been running 7.1.66 on both my standalone, standalone Unify controller and on the uh, Dream Machine for, I don't know, quite a while now. And I found it to be better than the previous releases, so I would highly recommend that, even if you're just doing standalone, uh, but definitely as part of this. Uh, there are some features that I'm going to point out that you requ that require both 1.12 family and the 7.1.6, I think it's or something and above, but basically just get 7.166 and you can get these features. For getting to that though, just wanted to point out that there's a couple of things here um, that are pretty critical. They remove some uh, weak ciphers. The, the Wi-Fi man service is um, a uh, mobile, or what I use it for is, is a mobile VPN client. It works really well. And there's they remove some TLS, some antiquated TLS standards, maybe because they upgraded OpenSSL, which is awesome because there are some issues with older versions of OpenSSL. BusyBox also got an upgrade. And finally, Suricata got in the 6.x line. So that is fantastic. Here again, there's lots of bug fixes, including some general stability. Oh, that's probably an improvement. Yeah, overall, I've seen uh, a big jump in stability moving from 1.11 to 1.12, even with some of the earlier beta. So uh, overall, I've been really pleased and I would recommend this guy. Let's talk a little bit about one of the features that I think is really neat. And that's this one. They added support for remapping the ports. Now, I haven't tested this, but I, I have verified that it exists within the Unify network. So what this does is it allows you to change the ports that you use for WAN and LAN. So if you go to your UDM Pro and you select Ports Configure Interfaces, you can see here you now can change around how ports 8 through 11 are configured. So by default, port 9 and point, port 10 are configured as WAN and WAN 2. If you wanted to use another RJ45 plug as your secondary WAN, what you can now do is change port 10, this SFP plus port, that just set it to the LAN. Now port 8, which is an RJ45 plug, can be used for WAN 2. So that is an awesome feature and it kind of boggles the mind that it hasn't been there before, but fantastic that it's there now. The other thing that I wanted to talk about is th there's been a, a big change in how Unify does what are essentially firewall rules. They've introduced these traffic management rules, which are supposed to, I think, simplify how one creates a firewall rule to change it from being something that is very much like a geeky kind of, you need to know what you're doing to, to get it to work, to something that is much more approachable to the general population. And I think that's awesome. I think it's great that they're doing that. Historically, or when they introduced this, uh, they didn't work which <laughs> was a big problem. In the 1.12, in, in some of those, somewhere along the way, they fixed that for the most part. These traffic management rules for apps, app groups, and regions, at least I think for regions, 
they work the way that you expect them to work. What doesn't work, or at least doesn't work reliably, is uh, rules around domain names. So I created a rule which blocks yahoo.com. I have it set up so that it blocks it on a couple of my devices. But if, And so if we go and try to resolve Yahoo, that doesn't work. We can't get to Yahoo. If I pause this rule, you see how it changed, the icon here changed. Now it resolves. If I go back and turn it back on again, go ahead and close that tab, open another tab, it works just fine. And I can dig through Yahoo and it, you know, does the things that I, it doesn't work the way that I would expect it to. If you wait long enough, eventually, sometimes, like we saw when I just tried to load it up, it'll go back to working. That's not how it should work though. It should just kind of always work. What's interesting though, is if you set an app level block, which is that I just kind of block Yahoo on, an, on the app level as an app, and I go ahead and resume this, and I'm gonna close that tab, open another tab, try to open up Yahoo, blocks Yahoo, which is exactly the way that I would expect it to work for, for everything, not just for app-level app blocks. Hopefully that's something that they can resolve, um, because I would expect that all of these rules, when you turn them on, would work exactly the same way. So overall, though, I am very pleased with the way that these traffic management rules work. I think they, are, they succeed at making firewall, in quotation marks, rules very approachable for folks who don't necessarily know how to write a firewall rule and that you can do it at a network level that you can do it at a device level that you have all this flexibility around apps and app groups and domains even though the domain names doesn't work 100 percent reliably is fantastic anyway i hope you found that useful if you did go ahead and like the video and subscribe to the channel if you have any questions or comments leave them below and i will get to them as soon as i can thanks